So this is what 90 degree heat does to the glaciers in Oregon. Super silty, super muddy, really full stream here. That could sweep you away a little bit. So I'm sure this right here is not the standard path. That's probably the usual bank. Yeah. Flies are just crazy here too. Um, but I have gotten to, uh, I've successfully identified huckleberries and they're everywhere. So I'm getting to, uh, oh, here we go. That's a small one. Come on. Yeah, it's a small one. Um, well, that's what it looks like. Uh, getting to pull huckleberries and snack on them as I'm walking along. Uh, yeah. So, kind of a hot day. I think unseasonably hot for this elevation in Oregon. Um, not as bad as that heat wave uh, earlier this summer, but still Pacific Northwest. So, oh, okay, here's a couple good ones. Uh, a little smaller than blueberries. Nom, nom, nom. Mmm. So good. Ugh. Well, in Montana, um, uh, they're pretty, huckleberries are pretty common there too. Um, so I was good at identifying them then, so I'm glad I uh, got the info from locals uh, because I did a little research on my own and took some screenshots um, uh, of the plant and the leaves, but, you know, it's just way easier when somebody shows you. Um, so yeah, a lot of wild berries around here. Uh, let's see, I had blackberries um, a couple days ago. Uh, I heard there were wild strawberries coming up. Uh, I don't think I've seen any blueberries yet, but apparently they're in the area as well. And then uh, something that I'd never heard of called grouse berries. I just read a comment about those. Um, so, not trying to be like the into the wild guy and eat the wrong berries, so I am only the eating the ones I know about. Um, but yeah, nice little snacks. Oh, and the other interesting thing, last night, um, so I'm surrounded by uh, some of the biggest mountains in Washington State right now. Uh, Mount Adams, Mount Rainier, and Mount St. Helens. And... I heard rock slides on um, kind of the faces or cliffs of Mount Adams last night a number of times and then in the morning too, um, which, you know, that, nothing like huge, not like the entire side of the mountain coming down, but, you know, you could hear a big rock or a few tumbling down and almost sounded like... Uh, Kind of muffled fireworks. Um, <coughs> oh, just inhaled a bug. <coughs> I think I got rid of it. <coughs> oh my god. Oh. <sighs> anyway. Um, but I was talking to another guy this morning and uh, talking about the rock slides. And I'm going to pause. Uh, so anyway, talking to another guy about the rock slides, and uh, he said he thought it was because of the um, hot weather, uh, so you're getting a lot of meltwater up there on the glaciers, and that's dislodging uh, rocks, so that uh, kind of made sense to me. I don't know if that's accurate. Um, anyway, uh, as you can see, still kind of some of this Spanish moss type stuff um, on the trees. Um, definitely a little different landscape from 
the low elevation area in um when i first got into washington by the uh uh something gorge i forget the name of it um columbia gorge or something um we're close to that uh yeah there are a lot of ferns down there you know just denser um but still a lot of undergrowth here and uh still beautiful um so high praise to washington all right see you tomorrow